Aloha. Hey, y'all. This is William. Welcome to ICS 100. And today we're going to talk about security and privacy on the web, as well as careers in IT, and also the future. Yeah, future technology. We'll see what's out there. OK, so let's mosey in to our slides here. And first, we'll talk about security slash privacy on the web. Uh, as you're aware, uh, or hopefully aware, there's not much privacy on the web, right? So the whole point of the web is to you know, communicate with the whole world. But if you're doing something like buying something, if you're banking, you're checking your health records, or some kind of similar transaction, uh, make sure it is a secure website. Yep, secure website. And how do you know that? Uh, one way is this padlock symbol. Okay, that should be in the address bar. And then also the URL, okay, the address should be HTTP, okay, and then an S at the end. Okay, and the S stands for what? S stands for um, surfing? No, S stands for security, okay? So HTTP S, S for security. All right. So our next part here, also some more about uh, security. Uh, you can get an internet security suite. And this is several programs. They're, they're put together. They're packaged together. And you can do things uh, such as virus protection, firewalls. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about what this stuff is with the firewalls. And for example, McAfee's uh, Internet Security. Uh, also, you have Norton, uh, Norton uh, Internet Security. So again, um, one, so it does several different things, but they package it all together. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that's better for business, I guess, yeah. OK, so let's see what else we got today. All right, so talk a little bit more about the antivirus software. And, you know, one thing, do be careful if you have a real virus that claims to be the antivirus software. So make sure you know what your antivirus software kind of looks like. Uh, don't click on that. That's a, a devious trick, yeah. Uh, but one, um, whatchamacallit, the antivirus software is the Windows Defender. Okay, that is built into Windows, um, you know, make sure that you have that on. And then some others that are out there, you have, uh, and these are uh, free, or there's free versions of it. The SpyBot Search and Destroy, uh, this one's pretty good, and then Malware Bytes. Okay, kind of a pun on that one. Uh, these are for the, the personal users. And then Adaware, um, and the other ones too, they have free versions you can use. Uh, anti-spyware, uh, antivirus. So if you kind of feel that your computer is running a little slow, uh, I recommend you know downloading the software and then you know checking it out and see what's going on. Sometimes you have so uh, software that just monitors what you're doing. Okay, so they might kind of sell the information to the uh, to the advertising companies or something like that. Or, you know, there might be more devious things going on. Um, so, yeah, when your computer starts to kind of slow down, uh, hopefully it doesn't, but if it does, and hopefully before that, download the software, you know, check out and see if you got any of them viruses in there. Okay, so let's see what's next here. All right, so we have a firewall, so that prevents uh, malicious packets. And packets is just this data that's sent over the network uh, from entering or exiting your computer. All right. So with the uh, Windows, uh, you actually have one that is built in. And it is the uh, Windows firewall. OK. So just type that in the search box and um, make sure it's on. OK. That will help a lot if it's on as opposed to off. Okay, so um, yeah, make sure it's on, yeah. All right, so, and again, that's built into Windows, so 
You don't have to go out there and, and, and buy it or anything. Just go into the search bar and, and look for it. And um, it, it just it helps with uh, the networks. Later on, we'll, talk, we'll have a whole chapter on uh, networks. We'll see what's, what network, networks is all about. But um, yeah, so make sure it's on there. Yeah. OK, let's see what we got now. OK, so careers in IT. And uh, one is a webmaster. OK, so they create and maintain the websites uh, and the related data. OK, and what? So you might, if you have a company, of course, uh, things change. So you've got to update your company data or company website. A uh, big thing is web uh, site traffic. OK, so you know, back on the H1, traffic might be a, not such a good thing. But if you've got a lot of traffic on your website, that's a good thing, right? So you want to keep track of kind of where your users, uh, where your viewers are coming from, and then maybe afterwards where they're going. Let's see. So typically now um, you need some kind of a degree, associate or bachelor degree. Um, and then what do you need to know? Okay, so one thing is HTML, another thing CSS, JavaScript, those are kind of the big three. And then some kind and then web authoring pr uh, software. So you might be doing uh, ASP.NET or Maybe something called LAMP, Linux, Apache, uh, MySQL, uh, PHP kind of stuff. And then databases. Okay, so I don't know if you noticed, but there's a lot of data out there being stored. Say if you go to Amazon.com or what's that big one, eBay. Um, you know, all this stuff is stored in some kind of thing, uh, organized way, and that's called a database. So those, those kind of go together. You got you know, your web pages, and you're displaying things on your web pages. And it's got to go down and, and get the data and like upload it. And then if someone buys something, then you're going to have one less item you know, that's, that's uh, in your database or in your warehouse or wherever it's stored. So you got to count down from that. So there's, uh, there's some interaction with web pages and databases. So it's good to know about databases if you want to make um, uh, web pages, particularly interactive web pages. Okay, let's see. Uh, so next here, let's see what we got for the IT and careers. Social media manager. Go figure. You can get paid to uh, to use Facebook, man. Sounds like a dream job, right? It seems like I'm always busting people for uh, getting on Facebook in class and stuff. Anyway, uh, it's more. Um, more uh, comprehensive than that, though. There's, it covers a lot more things. So you're designing, you're implementing, you're maintaining the social media strategy. So it's, it's uh, like a big plan. And um, you got to figure out how to advertise or get the word out about your organization. OK, again, associate or bachelor's degree. Hey, all right, so stay in school. <laughs> and. Um, OK, so you're not just skilled with, say, Facebook or social media software, um, but also like marketing, communication, psychology. Um, you know, so you got to know about people skills as well, and then business skills as well. Um, you, know, you might want to throw in a little mind reading or something like that, too. OK, so again, it's a lot more than just getting on Facebook and updating your profile. Yeah. OK, so. Oh, the future. What is in the future for you? OK, so the internet device on a car's dashboard. OK, so my brother has one of these. It's pretty cool. So you can, you can dial in the address you're going to, and it gets you to where you're going. Um, also, updates on traffic, say maybe store hours, uh, weather, that kind of stuff. And then um, you, know, you can do like online music service, Pandora, that kind of thing. Voice recognition, OK, so you know, some of these devices are already out there a little bit. Um, I don't know how well the voice recognition works these days. Uh, then also talks back to you, OK, he's kind of telling you, um, turn left, turn right, or that kind of stuff. So uh, that's kind of what we got already to, to, to some extent. Not on every car, um, especially if you have like a Maui Cruiser or something. 
At any rate, uh, let, let's see what else we have in the future, though, or that things are, are coming up uh, soon, we hope. Also, a big thing is the Internet of Things. Or back where I'm from, Internet of Things. All right, the Net of Things. Anyway, IoT. So it's a trend to connect uh, smart devices to the Internet. So what's a smart device? So one example would be a refrigerator. Once you get low on, say, uh, milk or shoyu or um, kimchi or whatever it is you like, uh, it'll order the groceries for you. Okay, that's, that's smart, man. Dang, man, that's probably smarter than me, man. Uh, maybe you have a heart monitor that can actually call an ambulance. All right, so that's an example, again, of, of uh, Internet connected device that's, that's smart technology. And then a big thing lately, uh, electric meters. They have a wireless connection to your electric company. Of course, everything has a drawback, right? So um, as far as the electric meters go, so one thing they're kind of worried about is, okay, what if you know, people can hack into these, they hack into the electric network and then shut things down, like sl shut down the whole electric grid. All right, so everything has advantages and disadvantages. Maybe your refrigerator orders you, you know, I don't know, 20 gallons of milk or something, you know. So anyway, everyone has drawbacks, but that's, that's what we're looking at in the future. Coming your way soon. Okay, uh, nice talking to y'all, and uh, we'll see y'all later. All right, aloha.